Hi, you normal and hello freshman students from the BSCMT. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to have an introduction to science, technology, and society. So sit back, listen, and enjoy. These are the learning outcomes for today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain the interplay of science, technology, and society. Lastly, discuss the interplay between science, technology, and society. Understanding Science, Technology, and Society Society has always been dependent on technologies. People utilize technologies for transportation, communication, education, entertainment, health, and wellness, and a lot of other uses. However, technology calls for the proper use of these technologies so as not to affect undesirable all living things and the environment. The biggest challenge facing people is how to use the present technologies efficiently and responsibly. Be able to understand how science and technology affects the society. There is a need to define science and technology and society terminologies and recognize their interrelationship. Now let us start by knowing what is science. Science comes from the Latin word sancia, meaning knowledge. According to Merriam Webster in 2018, Science is a system of knowledge covering general truths or operation of general laws as obtained from the scientific method. Science is the pursuit and application of knowledge and understanding of the natural and social world following a systematic methodology based on evidences. That's according to sciencecouncil.org. It also helps you to develop our critical thinking by engaging you in the use of scientific processes such as identifying problems, observing, communicating, using numbers and space-time relationships, making operational definitions, hypothesizing, classifying, experimenting, describing a mechanism or a process, inferencing, predicting, stating, cost-effect relationship, comparing and contrasting, interpreting data, making conclusion, reporting and evaluating. Furthermore, science, knowledge, and skills help you develop positive attitude and values that are essential in solving problems effectively. Following is a list of scientific attitudes and values. First, intellectual honesty. Recognize the work done by other scientists before you report data truthfully. Secondly, open-mindedness. Looking at other possibilities, validate and accept other people's idea towards the question. Thirdly, creative and critical thinking. Creative and critical thinking is a process of analyzing arguments and conclusion. It is the process of examining the offered evidences and reasons and forming reasonable judgment about the facts. Avoid insight bias and overconfidence of your judgments. Fourth, we have curiosity. Try to learn about the things around you and investigate their phenomena. Fifth, confidence and persistence. Continue a project despite some obstacle and failure. No guts, no glory. Objectivity. Declare results of your experiments based on your judgment and observation phenomena and not influenced by emotional or personal prejudices. Sixth, patience. Do not jump to conclusion. 
withhold your judgment until the tests have been completed. Do not accept ideas until from an exhaustive investigation has been performed. 7. Precision and Accuracy Consider the precision and accuracy of your work if it forms a pattern or repeatedly occurring in the nature. Lack of precision to a work would mean inconsistency. If collaboration. Work well with your team. Be ready to reach consensus or not. Consider others' criticism for you to know if you can be widely accepted or not. Remember, more minds are better than one. Aversion to superstition. Keep preference to scientific explanation rather than the superstitious belief. Always appreciate the power of reality based from knowledge. Lastly, empathy for the human condition. Be aware of, be understanding and sensitive to the feelings, thoughts, and experience of others even without having the feeling through experiences fully communicated to you in an objectively explicit manner. Now let us understand the meaning of technology. Technology comes from the two Greek words techni and logic. Techni means art, skills, craft, technique. That means by which a thing is done, produce or gain. While when you say logic means the study of. In short, technology is the application of organized scientific knowledge and skills to solve problems in life. For instance, the chart and the wheel care invented to address the needs for a more efficient mode of transportation, people and goods from the places, or from one place to another. This can be the application of science of machines and friction. Another, winemaking is an application of science of fermentation. We also have Thomas Edison applied the science of electricity when he invented the light bulb to solve the problems on lightning homes. To date, more and more inventions and discoveries are achieved. Technology innovation have emerged. Scientists and technologists continue to research, to design, and to develop new systems, tools, gadgets, devices, instruments, machines, techniques, and processes to make life better. Now let us move on to the two components of technology. Technology has two components, namely physical and informational. Let us start with physical component. Physical component consists of equipment, complex machine, blueprints, system, and processes. Both mental and physical efforts are exerted in order to achieve one value, to ease work, to increase production, to save money, to increase efficiency, or to re renew resources. On the other hand, the informational components consist of know-how in management, marketing, production, quality control, skill labor, and functional areas. According to Ghost Money 2000, said that the concept of technology does not relate only to the finished products. It is also associated with knowledge or information about the properties, benefits, marketing, and efficient use of developed product. Now 
let us move on to the society and its meaning. Society is a group of people seen as a community within the confines of the same culture, being socially united and dependent on each other. Like any other groups of society, supports the members to attain the needs that they alone cannot fulfill. Most often, a society is made up of varied individuals, which may also refer to an organized voluntary association of people for religious, cultural, scientific, and political purposes. We have individually defined what science, technology, and societies are. Now let us know the meaning of science and technology as well as society in one. Science, technology, and society or STS is an interdisciplinary study of interaction of science and technology with society and culture. Science as the body of knowledge provides the fact, principle, ideas to improve an existing technology or serve as a baseline information for a new emerging technology. It is also fed information to the society which demand more as it utilizes the benefits from the technology that apply to scientific concepts. Technology, on the other hand, depends on the science and applies it to be able to raise the quality of life of the people. Thus, the figure depicts now the synergetic relationship of science, technology, and society. Now, these are the references that I made use for this topic. I hope you have learned something to this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Now, I have a bonus point for you. If you can answer this on the comment section, you will gain 20 points credit for your class standing. Now here's the question. How does scientific and technological affects the society and the environment? Again. How does scientific and technological affects the society and the environment? Alright, so happy watching! See you on my comment section below. Thank you for learning with me today. But please, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. See you on my next discussion. Goodbye!